Hi, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm going to show you how to make a blueberry caprina. It could also be known as a batita, which is essentially a fruit-based caprina. Um, I believe sometimes they add cream or coconut cream into their batitas, and they blend it or sometimes muddle it. If, if you guys are from Brazil, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but first of all, I want to start off by giving a massive shout out to David who purchased this bottle utilizing the buy the back bar feature. So I've got a bottle of Leblon and I haven't had cachaça on the bar for ages. So thank you. Thank you very much. Massively appreciative. Today, I'm going to muddle a few blueberries into a caprinha, call it batita, whatever you like. Um, and also a big shout out to Stefan Foisy, who was a person who requested this particular cocktail. So I'm going to build this one in the glass and I'm going to cut up half a lime. just into wedges and throw it straight in before adding a teaspoon of white sugar. You could add two teaspoons of white sugar in a normal caprinha, but given that there's the additional um, sugar from the fruit component, I'd probably consider just leaving it to one. But I know straight away that I'm gonna get a few people that are gonna say, that's not how you make a caprinha. I'm okay with that. This is how I'm gonna make it. So I'm going to muddle the lime separately. Reason being, this is a lot harder fruit. I want to get the juice out and I'm going to give a real gentle muddle to the blueberries because they'll extract really easily. So there's a handful, about 10 blueberries there. Throw them straight in and just gently press them. Now I'm going to measure out 60 mil two ounces of cachaça. So for those who don't know, um, it's kind of similar to a rum, uh, a rum being made from molasses, where there's the cachaça is made from the, the pressed sugarcane juice. Now I'm gonna add ice straight to my double old fashioned glass, give a little bit of a stir through. Now, because I've got really large ice cubes, I'm actually gonna add some crushed ice to the top to add a little bit of extra dilution. And I'm gonna finish that with a couple of blueberries and a lime wheel. And they have a blueberry caprinha. Cheers. I'm really gonna need a straw for this one. It's strong, it's potent. Uh, I'd say the, uh, the cachaça kind of takes over the fruit flavor, but blueberries of all things, I think if you added um, like a coconut or pineapple, passion fruit, those kind of flavors, that particular fruit flavor would come through more. There's not really a lot of juice in those blueberries, but it's delicious nonetheless, very strong. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.